what do you think? Looking at the review scores, uh, the meta scores, the hype that you feel, uh, do you think it will sell well? Because they have to hit, like, I mean, with the 10 year development cycle, they have to hit a lot of million copies in order to make this right. Black Friday already coming on. So, yeah, they didn't have that. So, maybe a lot of people spend all their money already or. Yeah, our way of holding on to Final Fantasy. Um, next week, Lost Guardian comes out, another like Japanese game that might be interesting for yeah those people. But on the other hand, there's like not a lot of RPGs from this caliber coming out like in, in this holidays. Like the the real, the only like huge RPG if you don't count like Pokemon because that's of course on a different platform. But mm -hmm. what do you think? If we look at the sales, do I... you think it will be a success? I think in every other game's terms, it will be a success. I think that in yeah. Square's terms and what they expect, it'll probably break even. Um, mm -hmm. At least mm -hmm. at least in terms of what they want it to do. Um, I, I don't think that, you know, as far as how much they developed it and all that stuff, like the, the total budget for the game, I don't think it's going to break even with the budget. I think it's going to sell more than that. But I think Square is going to look at that time that they spent and be like, this didn't break even for the amount of time that we spent and the amount of money that we spent for um, the game. But I think that it's going to sell a lot. But the problem is because it was developed for so long because it cost so much money, that's a big hole to dig yourself out of. And a lot of other games are would be happy to have the sales that this game is going to bring in because I think it's going to do really well. I just don't think it's going to do well enough for Square to be satisfied. Mm -hmm. And they're just going to mm -hmm. basically be like, well, we spent that 10 years and at least we got our money back, but we didn't really make a ton of money either. What what I think will happen is uh, what we also saw with Final Fantasy 13. That game also like, yeah, that they also spent a ton of money on that, but that really didn't really shake out when it launched. Um, of course, still a lot of people bought it. But then they thought, okay, we have this engine, we have these these characters, we have these assets. Let's just make a bunch of sequels. Mm -hmm. So what I think will happen is that in 2018 we will have Final Fantasy 15 to Final Fantasy. If, if they did it before. Why not do it again? Especially with this game that has been in development for so long, it would be stupid to now focus on Final Fantasy 16 or whatever the next one will be called. Just make a bunch of games in this generation on this engine with these characters just i think that that would not be stupid at all and i think that a lot of people will be interested in that as well and for a square that would really yeah give them more money because they obviously doesn't have to invest invest as much as they did in this game so yeah. this is what i think will will happen and um yeah uh, yeah that, that totally makes sense maybe they will bring it over to the switch <laughs> or something <laughs> like that or or yeah, ma make a full on that Scorpio game would version. not run on the Switch. <laughs> no, I agree with you. <laughs> it, bar it barely but runs Skyrim on the PlayStation is, Four. Skyrim is <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah. But, oh wow. yeah, it's no, it's, I agree. I actually um, I haven't seen any benchmarks for like the Xbox One. I'm not sure if they release side by side or not, but I'm really curious how it performs on the Xbox One and what they did to make it work because the PlayStation Four it barely runs. Like it, it hits a solid thirty, but I mean. You could tell that they put a lot of work just because the frame pacing issues. They tried so hard to get that the, the yeah. work properly. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely agree with you with the, your logic and the fact that they'll probably make sequels um, to 15, yeah. like a 15 to 15 3, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And I think that will allow them to hit the sales goals that they originally wanted from this game because they already have the foundation there. So might as yeah, well basically. make some other good experiences off of it. And I have no issue yeah. with that whatsoever. From what I heard, a lot of people enjoyed the sequels of Final Fantasy 13. Yeah, even and, more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And uh, it's it really comes down to one of those things where if people enjoy it, then why not do it again? And I think they'll see that and they'll do it again. And I think that they'll learn a lot from the mistakes that Final, Fan Final Fantasy 15 occurred and they'll correct them in the sequels and make those sequels be a lot better. And people are like, damn, yeah. this is exactly what <laughs> we sort of wanted from the original game. It's kind of like what people yeah. thought of 13. So. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I, I, I don't with... think it's a catastrophic issue mm. for Square. I think that they just need to think and put their their minds to it, and just and they probably already have their minds to it. They're like, we're gonna release sequels, and I think that they're going to. And yeah, yeah. we'll just have to, to wait and to see. Counter my, to counter my own argument, though, a lot of people that are involved in this Final Fantasy project, because 
a lot of comments on my videos uh, talking about Final Fantasy said, oh, I'm glad they finished this game. They can now finally focus on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Because that is also a game that is, yep. yeah, that they are working on. And supposedly a lot of people that are on this game are also on this, this remake. So, And they also have this Kingdom Hearts. And that's like also, who is going to make that? So um, it, I, I, I totally believe that Kingdom Hearts is still in development like alongside Final Fantasy 15 because otherwise we will not see that game until 2019 and I hope that that's not the case but um, that will also be interesting but I still think that Square Enix would be stupid to not see okay we have a lot of assets we have this open world let's just make it a little bit bigger or yeah do something with this otherwise they will just throw it away and focus on making yeah completely new things and mm -hmm. we know how long that's gonna take so yeah that, that will be interesting to watch, I think, I'm gonna, 2018. I'm going to make somewhat of a prediction here before we wrap up this topic. Okay, I think cool. that the remake of Final Fantasy VII will outsell 15. Mm, okay, that's a good... Also, it, because it's in episodes as well, right? It's like two yeah. episodes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so like like one episode will outsell Final Fantasy 15, you think? I think the, the entirety of the remake. So oh, okay. however many Fair episodes enough. that is, we'll outsell it. And I think mm. that just that, that will be from... hard to, to count, though, because a lot of people will, of course, buy one, two, and three, and that will count for three sales. That's so that's true, but, I mean, they basically earned it at that point. But I, I think that yeah. that's a huge moneymaker that I think a lot more people are anticipating than Final Fantasy XV because, like like what I said, you know, I'm not a huge Final Fantasy XV guy, but what one will I buy first? It's going to be Final Fantasy VII Remake because I know those Ooh. characters and... Those are the characters that I, I've always just sort of, sort of signified as Final Fantasy. Like everyone knows Cloud, everyone does. It's mm -hmm. like he's like the face of the franchise, and to a certain degree. I mean, I'm sure Final Fantasy fans are like, "What the hell are you talking about?" But <laughs> for people that don't really follow it that much, as much as you know the the normal fanboy would, that's like a face. Like everyone knows that face, and so yeah. I think a lot of people are at least going to buy it just out of curiosity. Um, and they're going to have a very in-depth RPG experience waiting for them within that curiosity. And that might yep. make them want to buy 15, but by then 15 might be, you know, really cheap and not really count as big of a sale as it would have in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, 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 I will, it will be interesting to watch. I think Kingdom Hearts 3 will also do really well, but not hit this these Final Fantasy numbers because I think that's more of a niche franchise. Maybe... If they get like the Marvel characters on board and have Disney pushing it as well, then it might be bigger. But yeah, it will still be this weird corny RPG, I think. And yeah, that will turn a lot of people off, even if they like Disney. But yeah, it will be interesting to watch. Uh, uh, it's like finally an end of an era where they were like hyping this game and releasing trailers. Mm -hmm. And now it's finally out. So that's good. Now release the goddamn Lost Guardian and we'll... <laughs> we'll we will, yeah, we can look forward to new games that are not like announced 10 years ago. So yeah. that will be awesome.